Here's how to create the perfect setup and host your very first GimKit Creative. All right, your first couple steps is to log in to GimKit. Your next step is to head to GimKit Creative. From there, if you haven't already, you need to make sure that you complete the tutorial. If not, you can head right into create a new map. Today, I'm gonna to call mine tutorial. All right, once you load in, this is what your appearance looks like. The first couple issues you see once you load in is that one, your character moves pretty slowly and also you're zoomed in really far. To fix that, you're gonna head over to options, head over to editing options. Your first one's gonna be your camera zoom. You're gonna zoom all the way out to 0.5. That's gonna make your map a lot larger, changes your field of view. The next thing is changing your player speed. That's gonna go from currently one all the way to three. So now when you test it out, you move fast and you have a larger area of vision when you're creating and designing your first map. All right, next step is to head back to editing options once again. There's a couple other things that you can look at. The grid snap uh, allows you to create uh, a grid. That way it shows you kind of every single step along the way. If you're trying to create a balanced map, so um, you have teams on each side and you wanna have an equal distance to the middle of the map, you can use the zoning and the gridding to kind of help you with that. All right, the last thing is to show you how to join a friend uh, in order to edit and make your own maps together. So if you look at the top of the screen, it has a, a join code option. You can click on it. It's very similar to just how it looks like when we're actually hosting and creating a game. Um, you can give them the code and they will hop in and join your world. All right, there's a couple things that we have to understand about hosting a world. First and foremost, whoever has created the map, created the name uh, and made the new world, that is yours. Uh, if somebody else wants to on their own free time uh, work on it, unfortunately they cannot currently on GimKit. Only the host can host the game and have others join. Uh, people that are helping out cannot go into the world on their free time. Only the host can. All right, so let's talk about once people get into the world, how can you allow them to actually help out? Because currently, if they hop into the world, they're just a viewer. They're a, um, a traveler. They're uh, just visiting, if you will. So what you'll do is click options. You will go to permissions. And now you have four different things that you can give permission to for people that are joining your world. Adding, so other players are allowed to add terrain, so on and so forth. You can click on it. Once it hits blue, that means that they are able to do that job. Removing, can they delete things? Editing, are they allowed to modify props, devices, and wiring? And blocks, are they allowed to create and edit these things? Typically, if it's a person that you are working with and that you trust, have all the permissions on. Uh, if it's a person that you are just wanting to help them do a certain task, like removing or adding or any of those four, then create it just to be that unique permission. All right, there you go. There's a brief introduction of how to host and set up and create your first GimKit creative mode.